Okay, I thought I'd show you all the house plans and the site plan here so that you can kind of get a overview of what we're trying to accomplish here with this building project this year. So essentially we have the garage, three car garage here. So uh, if any of you have ever worked with a architect you can probably adhere to what I'm about to say is that they seem to want to draw it the way that they want it to be instead of doing it the way that you want it to be. So anyways we've had some hiccups with this whole thing but um, being that I'm building it myself I figured uh, why spend the extra money to have the architect draw it right when I know how I'm going to build it anyways so but uh, I know right here you can see there's supposed to be a, a walk-in door there and there was supposed to be a walk-in door back there so he omitted those um, so essentially just kind of give you a walk through here but uh, so we'll have two doors there that aren't on the plans so essentially this is going to be a house that you can walk from the garage into the house with zero steps so be very much wheelchair sex accessible um, so anyways you'll walk in the front door here there'll be a closet right there so we can put our shoes and coats in and whatnot the basement steps will go down there and then bathroom one will be there and that too will be altogether different because he went and changed a whole bunch of stuff on there and that's not the way that I want it. We lost our linen closet according to his plans so we're essentially going to move that all around to regain um, that linen closet. So, And then we're going to basically have a utility room here with the washer and dryer, some space for sewing, and then we're going to actually, where this corner is right here, we're going to have a built-in sewing table, or I'm so sorry, a folding table. And uh, there will be drawers underneath it for storage. As, as we all know, we can never have enough storage for our, in our house. So, And then uh, in the back here, we will have some extra storage. Um, we've been kicking around the idea of essentially putting a desk in there for doing some some uh, work for doing bills and that kind of stuff so not totally sure what we're going to do there yet then as we move out to the kitchen here we're going to have an island and in that island there will actually be a cooktop that's another thing the architect moved on us and put a stove in we're going to have a cooktop in the island and a double oven next to the refrigerator which the refrigerator is right there so right next to that will be a double cooktop I'm sorry a double oven and then we'll have a walk-in pantry which would be really nice for storing all sorts of things food you know the big appliances that don't fit out on the countertops every day um, as we move over to the sink area here We'll, uh, he's got the dishwasher set up uh, right there. Now uh, we wanted the dishwasher over here, so we're going to put the dishwasher there. Um, you know, and sink, and then this cupboard here will be open for drawers for silverware and stuff like that. So um, then we're going to have. A uh, large dining room here. We'll have a table that's 10 foot long. Um, I've got a uh, number of kids and their spouses and we already have one grandchild uh, last September so I'm sure there'll be more of those coming in the next uh, five to ten years here so anyways so then we walk into the master bedroom which he moved the door from down on this end down here 
all the way up there which is going to be inaccessible because you'll have to walk past the dining room table so anyways so we'll move that back down so we're going to have a nice large master bedroom we'll have a walk-in closet there which isn't drawn right either um, we're essentially going to move this master bedroom or master bathroom here we're going to move that out to where about this line is here and then that'll give us more room in this master closet so walk-in closet so um, then we'll have the front door we're going to have a covered porch and on the next uh, page here we'll actually show you we're actually going to have a root cellar a cold root cellar underneath that so we're essentially utilizing every inch of this house that we can possibly utilize so we're just gonna zoom over here so this is kind of the site plan I probably should have started with this but our ex existing shop is right there the driveway comes in off the road and that's where we're gonna build our new house we will have a greenhouse out on the south end here so we can grow green vegetables and and flowers and that kind of stuff and then here is going to be our thermal solar collector that we are going to use for our annualized geosolar where we will be pumping hot air underneath the soil under the basement of the new house the whole idea of this system is to take that heat all summer long store it in the soil under the house and then as time goes on that heat rises up through the soil up through the concrete and essentially provides heat for the cold winter months and here in Wisconsin it does get kinda cold so we're in central Wisconsin and um, sometimes we can have temps that are well below zero so I think our normal average temp is like 15, 20 degrees, but uh, definitely below freezing. So, so anyways, moving on to the basement plan here. We come down the steps from the upstairs, and we'll have a landing there with steps that, if we go to the right here, this area right here is going to be our workout room and we will have a number of different uh, machines there that uh, you can do workouts on and whatnot from there we move into that's listed on here as storage but that's actually going to be our theater and we have a projector we're going to have surround sound and we will be building about halfway, uh, maybe a third of the way back, we're going to be building a, a step. So we'll have chairs and couches and stuff in there. And that, you know, just like a movie theater where you, you know, each row is a little higher. We're just basically going to have two rows of, of chairs in there. You know, one higher than the other. So you're not looking at each other's head from the second row. So, so anyways... Now we'll just have some more storage behind there. So, and then uh, so we move back out of there. When we go down this side, this is going to be our game room area. We've picked up a pool table that will be sitting right in this area here. So, and then we have a bunch of other games and whatnot that the well, even myself, the kids and grandkids always enjoy playing. So, and then from there, we'll be moving into the mechanical room where we'll have the sub pump, the uh, breaker box there, the uh, water heater, and then the furnace will sit here. Now, most of you will probably think, well, geez, you'll have, you know, central air and all that kind of stuff, but. Honestly, we won't be having central air. We're going to cool the house with what's called earth tubes. And uh, we'll be showing you more about that too here. So anyway, so we go out of the mechanical room. We come over here. We'll have a downstairs bathroom. 
So now here again, the architect did what he wanted to do. Um, we're going to have a the um, toilet here, and then we have a walk-in shower that sits here. It's not a corner shower. It's basically just a, a three-sided shower stall, and then we'll just have a curtain on the front. Um, and then another thing the architect changed is we had this door here over here and then the wall goes across here and then we had this for a linen closet for the bathroom um, just to utilize that space a little better and then the rest of it will be closet for this uh, second bedroom down in the basement here and we'll have egress window out here so then moving over here we're gonna have this for office and this closet won't be there and there again this door will be over here because this room here will be a little smaller so anyways so going back out here we'll go up the steps and this will actually be our on-site greenhouse so I'm really really excited to start growing our own um, greens and vegetables and flowers year-round in this uh, greenhouse and uh, this greenhouse too will utilize annualized greenhouse geosolar for cooling in the summertime to keep that greenhouse cool and also heating it in the winter time so so anyways moving out of there we come over here and this door here will get you into the root cellar so we'll be able to store all our our canned goods potatoes um, in the future we plan to plant some apple trees and, and a lot of other different things um, you know like I say store potatoes and apples and canned goods and uh, all that kind of stuff so so as we come out of here it'll probably be the envy of a lot of people is we're gonna have a full sized bowling alley that will start essentially the approach will be back here right in this area and then the lane will go all the way down here and this is where the pin setter will be so that'll be a lot of fun there too so we'll have a lot of interesting fun games for for myself and my family and uh, and uh, all the kids and grandkids when they come over so so anyways uh, another thing with the basement here is we're going to be utilizing um, for this basement wall a product called Epstone composite wall paneling so essentially it's made off-site it's all cut for the sizes and everything that you need and then they bring it out on a semi and use a crane and within two hours your whole basement's up or at least the basement walls anyways and then all you got to do is pour your concrete in for your uh, floor and you'll be good to go so so anyways um, going on to the next page here these are the the views of the house so as you can see the greenhouse is off on the end down there and the bedroom will be there, the front door. Now here again, he put two big windows in the front of the house, which this one here will not be there because that's where we want to put our TV and entertainment center there. So the uh, garage, we're gonna have two 10 by seven doors and then a nine by seven off on the side for the third bay. So here's a better view of what uh, the south side of the house will look like so uh, one thing I did forget to mention is we're gonna have a hot tub room off the garage actually I'm gonna go back to the first page here um, actually it does show it here on the on the basement because that's part of the basement wall here in Wisconsin you gotta have frost wall around everything because always uh, frost gets under and moves everything but Essentially, we're going to have a, a hot tub that will be sitting right in this area here. And we're going to have some windows here and windows here. And uh, 
It'll be a basically it'll be a almost an in-ground kind of hot tub, but it won't be enclosed all the way around. You'll be able to walk in from the garage here and basically be able to step right in the hot tub. So and we're gonna be using our hot tub that we currently have. We'll just be moving it from the farm down to this new house here. So so anyways, these are the views again, and uh, so you can see the back and uh, where the patio doors come out there. There I believe we're going to have a, a nice uh, um, either concrete or brick uh, patio in the future out there, and we'll probably cover that in a future video. So as you move over here, this will be the hot tub room off the garage, so that will be the the same view as that there. Well, I shouldn't say the same view, but the um, be the west view. This is the south here. This will be the west view here. So, and then our garage there. So, um, not sure everybody's interested in this, but these are just the the uh, cutaway uh, cross sections. So, for all the different things, all the specs, so we know how to build it, so but, uh, so anyways, yeah, that is our house plans there, and uh, we currently have got the sanitary permit, as we'll have uh, a mound system that'll be um, back over in this area here, and uh, we already have a well on the property, so we'll be utilizing that. Uh, let's see, what else are we all going to do on here? Like I say, we'll have the earth tube cooling. will go out from the back of the house here. and uh, So we'll be covering all of that as that's all um, put in place. So look forward to all of you joining us uh, as we post more videos so please subscribe so that you get alerted of the new videos as we post them throughout the summer and the fall and winter and, and so on. Um, oh the one thing I did forget to mention uh, for the basement here we we're gonna have the annualized geosolar that'll come in under the basement here and then it'll basically branch out and there will be different runs of uh, drain tile, perforated drain tile, that will go through here um, all through the under the basement and that will be anywhere from three to five foot below the basement floor and that's where that uh, the uh, all the solar that's collected from the thermal solar collector here that will all be blown in through with fans underneath that basement floor here and essentially we're using that soil as a thermal battery so we'll be storing all that heat that we collect from the sun all summer long to provide heat for our house all winter long so super excited about that to limit or eliminate possibly the need for, to even have a furnace so and we will be having a gas furnace for backup and you know if we get super cold days you know we might have to run that some but our plan is to essentially collect solar all summer long and then allow that to be slowly released as it comes up through the soil through the basement floor and and heat our whole house also our house is going to be insulated with uh, sheep wool that we'll be washing and drying and and uh, putting that in for the walls and the ceiling and from the research I've done there's a lot of companies over in New Zealand that are promoting this just to have a more value for their sheep wool from New Zealand but I found some local producers here in Wisconsin um, shepherds actually is what they're called and so we went and picked up some wool from them and we'll be washing like washing it and uh, drying it and 
we'll be showing you as the house progresses blowing that into the wall and the such so also one thing I did forget to mention in the master bedroom closet and the bathroom here we're going to have what's called a Faraday cage so the Faraday cage was developed by Michael Faraday and essentially what the Faraday de Fer boy I can't talk today Faraday cage will do is block out all radio signals Wi-Fi everything essentially and give us a free and clear area to sleep because when you sleep your body heals itself so we want to sleep in a clean zone and with the fertilizer running to get rid of the stray voltage and the Faraday cage we should have the most perfect area to sleep and heal our bodies and just live a great life so really really excited to get that and be able to sleep in that area so so that's all we have for now and we look forward to hearing more from you and your comments and please subscribe so that as new videos come out we can get them to you so you can see our progress on our house here in Wisconsin. So thanks all for joining us and we'll talk to you again.